Hello everyone and welcome to Unboxing with Brittany. Today I'm unboxing the 12 days of English paper piecing from Social Distance. We get this box in the mail with our name on an envelope that is handwritten, which is nothing short of a work of art. I've already taped this to my wall to display indefinitely. <laughs> we get this letter in the mail with some instructions and then a 20% off coupon to her shop. So we have our tissue paper to rip open here with the company's logo on it. It's nice and personalized. We have a blend of gift wrapped items, bagged items, boxed items. So we're gonna go ahead and open up day one in this little adorable box. So we've got the Birdie Needle Threader from Prim Love. So this is a super useful tool just to, you're on the go and it's a small travel size compact needle threader. You can go ahead and put that through the eye of the needle, your thread hooks in it easily, easily and you just pull it through and it's stinking adorable. Day two, we have this snazzy bag to open up. In here is the Jill Illy Studio Poke A Dots Sticky Thimbles. So you stick these to your fingertip and then you can push through your needle when you're hand sewing fabric. And it really saves you on trying to get thimbles to fit your fingers. If it's a warm day and your hands are getting sweaty, those thimbles can shift around and you end up poking yourself and that's a big pain. So these are super useful. An alternative is like using band-aids, but then you don't have to wrap the whole thing around your finger. You have a really nice concentrated pressure point that works for your needle. So day three we have this envelope and I've got a sticker stuck to my finger that's really distracting me <laughs> sorry but it has these straw needles inside and I've gotten needles from other boxes but they've been shorter so these are nice long needles and they have um, their big eye needles making them easier to thread so super nice quality too and day four is the thread cutters thread cutting ring in the color pink of course <laughs> i'm so excited with the color scheme that's already evolving through this box so you put this on your finger and on the go you can just clip your thread really quick you don't have to hunt around for your embroidery scissors in your little pouch or drop your embroidery scissors in that little space between your car seat and the center console <laughs> And then we have these paper pieces. These are the 3 4 inch hexagons. You get 125 of them in a pack. And then she also included this little Aurifil thread on the side. So that's super handy to have both your pieces ready to go and the thread that you need to do your projects. I love, I love included thread. That was an extra nice little bonus gift to it. Day six, we have this gift wrapped item this time. Super satisfying to open. And then I'm just gonna start tearing it because that's the fun part. <laughs> okay, and we've got a little project. We've got a, a hexagon clasp purse. So you do the hexagons and the fabric and it has all the hardware included inside of this, as well as like little twine and cute little key set. I mean, it's super functional as well as a quick and cute project. And now we have our first little bits of fabric. We've got a charm pack called Twirl from the Ruby Star Society. It's in these beautiful, I'm guessing galaxy inspired fabrics. And it's in the charm bag, so that's a five inch square. You get 40 tool. So day eight has this like cute teal little, I don't know what kind of box is it called, 
but it has this embroidery patch on it. I don't know where that came from. I like to put a little screenshot on where you can find things to purchase, but that might just be for me because <laughs> it's such a unique little add-on. So we've got the flock table runner acrylic pieces in the half hexagon. And I forget what the other shape was. I think it was a triangle because then on the next day, I know I am ripping the wood. Come on, girl. We have the flock table runner pattern. Yeah, it's triangles and half hexagons, and it says it's inspired by a flying geese traditional paper, um, piecing pattern. So there's the fabric requirements on the back. This would be definitely my biggest English paper piecing project to date <laughs> as I tackle this one. All right, day 10, we have this little sack lunch gift. No, I'm kidding. It's in a little sack paper bag. <laughs> And it's fabric. And I didn't open it up and measure it. I'm guessing it's fat quarters or the fabric that would work for that table runner. It's in these beautiful pastels. And it's from the social distance shop. I didn't see this particular bundle. So they might have made it exclusive to this box. But I'll put a link to social distance in the description. And you can shop around. Day 11, gift wrapped in our little checkerboard wrapping paper. So a super useful item, the Fonz and Porter water soluble fabric glue stick. So this helps you with your paper piecing. You can glue your fabric onto your little paper pieces and it holds them in place rather than basting them in place. And then it just washes right out. And then the grand finale, day 12, we open up this box and we find the most <laughs> amazing fabric set. <laughs> Look at this. Get into it. We've got one of these tulips, but oh, let me see if I can get the little preview in here. There's lots of these fun, dark colors. More tulips. Tulip. Mushrooms. <laughs> I love mushroom fabric. It's so stinking cute. <laughs> and then bananas on black. <laughs> so that is like the fun world of English paper piecing is all the just fabric that you can incorporate and fussy cut and put into all these designs. So that is the end of this box. Here is everything all together. I think this is a great box specifically for me as a new English paper piecer who didn't have any of these tools or specialized items and to get started with a new project both small and large thanks for watching this unboxing bye